Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine uh, Saturday morning? <clears throat> well, I hope. As it is a no face cam horror stream Saturday, uh, we're going to return to the world of Alone in the Dark, where we made a bit of progress. We, we solved two different rearrangement puzzles. They're not really slider puzzles. And made made some some way towards finding the uncle that we're looking for. I don't remember what his name is. But yeah, last week we got started as Edward Carnby and proceeded to make our way f through some stuff that indicated our character is either a wizard or at least familiar with magic. They're not a standard. Okay. Um, where all did we end up going? We went to like a oil rig area. Wait, this is not where we left off. Wait, what? This is not where we left off. We left off inside of the room with the, ter the telescope. That is not here. I don't remember the buttons for the map, though. I remember stealth. There's where we got the shotgun. Yeah, we were in, like, in the wrong side of the building, even. So, XYZ monsters, you stack... You stack monsters at the required level to make XYZ monster, and for this card, if you use the Siri and the Ikra card, you get extra effects, which is to represent you making the sushi properly. Interesting. Okay, it's kind of a logic behind that. I can appreciate that. There is one button that tells you to... Also, tab is apparently zoom, which I do not remember being a thing. Is it I? Okay, it's I. Obsolete items have been archived. Oh. Power Roslin component. Yeah, we need to put this on the telescope in the one room. Okay, we're in the library. I think we need to go upstairs? I think? Which is why the 2,000 attack and the 200 attack on both monsters gets combined, and the zero defense and the 300 defense also do too. Oh, okay. Wait, unless I'm I'm stuck on this random floor object again. That happened to us last time. It looks like eventually a body is going to be here, or something is going to be on the ground because it looks like there's blood. So either previously there was an item there that got disappeared. Oh, here we go. Or, or there's going to be an item that appears there eventually. Okay, your hand special summon this card from your hand and apply the following effect. And chips once per turn. Four or five. That is so much stuff. Guard in your hand, special summon this card from your hand and apply the following effect based on the received revealed card. Special summon the revealed monster. Other, place the revealed card on the bottom of the deck. You get one Lincoln monster you control. Changes level to four, five. Then you add one from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of the gun, the Gunkin Suship Uni once per turn. Wow. So it's a whole fleet of sushi based ships. It's a really interesting idea. So we use this. Mouse 2? That's not what I wanted. What does mouse 2 mean? Oh, we actually move the mouse to zoom in? What a terrible choice! No, don't do that! Why would you do that? This is a... Terrible idea. Oh, okay, we go left and right to also focus that way. Okay. Yep, uh, yeah. I get it, so it's a whole, like, fleet of sushi ships that work better if you, like, use them to summon the other ones from that same set. It's a fun idea. There we go. I don't know why they chose to do it with this. ships made out of sushi, but that's fun. Whoa. Uh, find the talisman coordinates for Tarolola. Tar oh yeah, 
forgot about the dodge button. Okay. There's another Gunkin ship. Summon, you can apply this effect in sequence based on the materials used. You can only use this effect once per turn. Draw one card. This card can gain the ability to attack directly once per turn. During your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. Quick effect, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls. Up to the number of monsters you control. Special summon from the extra deck. Wow. Okay, yeah, they get definitely get powerful as they start to build up. Direct attacking or multiple attacks. What is this? <sighs> it's immune to shovels. Whatever it is, it's immune to shovels. This also seems to be immune to shovels. Okay. So we need to figure out... The coordinates for Tortella, Tortella, or whatever it's called. Can I rotate these? It doesn't look like I can rotate them. Which, that's fine. I have to be up here then? There we go. Nine, four, one. Straightforward. Whoa, it's doing it on its own. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? It's very vague. It's just a potted... A potted... Uh, plants. I don't... I guess vased plants? Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Terrawea? Jeremy had found a way to enter Terrawea, but oh. he wasn't allowed to go. He knew deep down that it was impossible for him to cross that threshold. Instead, he hoped that Perosi would go in his place and burn his library to the ground so he could start again. But she never got the chance. Perosi had her own problems, her own demons. And she died suddenly one day without warning. Holding the telescope lens in his hands, Detective Comby suspected what it was. At least a part of the key to that paradise Jeremy so desperately wanted to see. Curious what he would find, he felt eager to put the lens to use. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we've heard this one. Wow. So there are, how many are in this set for these combined sushi ships? This seems like a lot. What are we at? Like five so far? So... Talisman has shown in the gate that will open. Okay, so we yeah, we just gotta go find that table with the stuff on it, I guess. Yeah, it looked like a dining room table. Based on how long it was. Five different from the main deck, three different from the extra deck. Jeez. I mean, that's fun. I, like, if you really are into the Susie ship thing as a gimmick. But that's a lot. That's eight cards committed to one, one thing. Or at least it seems like a lot. I guess if it's a whole set around these concepts, it's not that big, that big, not, not that big a deal. Okay, let's see. I think Lottie's room is this? No, there's something else in here we have to do then. Wait, what's this? Oh. Oh, there's just a thing in here. Okay. The Great Depression. A Great Depression and a thousand young. Missing a bugle, apparently? There's actually a smaller compared to a lot of other archetypes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know don't know enough about you to know. Okay, that was the last thing we needed in there then. Okay, this area is still locked off. And then I'm trying to remember how okay, there we go. Sitting Oh, the sitting room looks like the right size room for this this. Because it's not gonna be out on the mezzanine. The sitting room looks like the right place for this though. So we need to go upstairs, 
You can't get into Dr. Gray's apartment until I think we need a key for that. I mean, we can check the mezzanine, but I don't think it's going to be in there. The sitting room actually makes sense to me. That seems like the right sized room to have that kind of table with plants on it. I, don't, I can't imagine the mezzanine's got a big long table like that. What's this? Oh, a brightness from afar. Another collectible. Ah, this must have been the book she left behind, along with that... <laughs> um... Huh. I don't think they realized she left. The cigarette's still hanging in the air, as is the book, which is actively moving. Yeah, they didn't... They didn't, uh... <laughs> they forgot to put those away once she left. And by left, I mean died. Ooh, handgun bu bullets. We'll take the pistol bullets. And that's the bread we got last time. Is there anything else then in this area? No, that was it. Okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. Another one. Once per turn, you reveal one other in your hand. Special summon this card from your hand and then apply this effect. Uh, monster from your deck, except... Okay. Is it think? Oh, yeah. Here's the body. We interacted with this once, right? She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Well, that's good. Right, because that gives us the numbers. So we can interact with that again in case we forget what those numbers are, which I might have to do because I don't remember where I left the... I, I think my note paper's right here. And that's the least monster for the... The last monster for that archetype. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the idea is fun, and I'm really hungry now, which kind of sucks, but... Outside of that, the idea of a bunch of ships that the bigger the fleet of them together, the more powerful they get makes sense to me. Wait. Oh, no, no. We're missing the piece for this, right? Yeah, we're missing, missing France, I believe. I believe that's France. That's the kids room. No, this is that one person. This is where we found the little girl and she gave us a speech. Okay. That's odd. I guess just to let us know what the numbers are, the 257, but I thought we did that already. Also, it won't let me out unless I draw my gun, which is kind of funny. I guess I went down the wrong hallway? I thought... No, this is the sitting room, so there is something else going on here that is not the plants. Oh. I guess it's just this is what they're talking about. Wait. Okay, so I guess we try the dining room then? Uh, gallery... It's not going to be in the boiler room. I thought we were done with that, though. We can't get in here because the lady was in here cooking and she threatened us with a knife, I think? Infirmary. I guess we go try the dining room, then. Maybe that's the long table from the dining room. Uh, I don't know if magic has effects like this, where you have cards that take on the name of other cards. This one even doing so well in the deck is rare, usually more likely for hand slash field slash graveyard. Takes on the name of? It's the last one. I don't know if magic has the effects like this where you have cards that take on the name of other cards. Take on the name. I mean, you can... You can duplicate cards. So, like, say you had a 1-1, one, one, you know elf warrior and then you played a certain spell card it would duplicate that card and then you become a it would become a duplicate one one elf warrior so you could duplicate a card but i don't know if about necessarily taking a full name of something else do 
dining room. Dining room's over there. Go around. Okay, it's back behind the stairs. That's probably where I was meant to go then. They've gonna they've done a good job of laying out this house and having the story go in such a way that you don't have to do too much backtracking a lot of the time to get where you need to be going. Interesting. Yeah, like there's even an effect for that. Okay, this has gotta be it. Um so there are legendary creatures or legendary cards that you are only allowed to have one of on the field at a time. And if you duplicate it, you can choose which one gets destroyed when you duplicate it. So, like, you have a legendary elf commander. And if you duplicate it, since there's only allowed to be one of a legendary card on the field at a time, you have to get rid of one or the other. So you can either keep the original or the duplicate. Which has its own effect because sometimes when a card comes into play, it does something. So if you copy a, copy a legendary that has an in, coming into play effect and you get rid of the copy, that tr does not trigger and go off. So in theory, in that case, you'd want to get rid of the original and keep the copy as just a, a base option. Okay, so this seems like where we need to be. Here we go. And you, you might have something like a token that can take on the stats of another card on the field, but it's not allowed to take the effects since tokens aren't allowed effects. Ah. Um... Okay, that's got to be where we're going. Leon's father? No. I mean, I guess technically from the time... F no, because this is set in the 30s, and I don't think Leon's dad would, would be this old in the 30s. Probably not. Welcome, I swear I'm not an elk. Um, so the so it wouldn't take the name of in that case, but what, what you're talking about would probably be something like... Um... There, there's some stuff that's kind of like that where like the usually the description will be like like say doppelganger and it'll be like this has the this creature has the attack slash defense of the creature you choose to doppelgang until that creature dies and then you must doppelgang a different creature or something <laughs> grandpappy butt I mean I don't know I, don't, I, I, I can't say that I've confirmed or denied his amount of butt I mean, he looks like he has a little bit of butt. Not a ton, but a little bit of butt on him. All right, let's see where this takes us. Sounds like we're getting very close to actually, oh, chapter three, where we actually go to the place. Why play Man? Why is this play Man like this? The graphics have not loaded in yet. Unless this is meant to be vague for the purposes of storytelling oh no that looks better he was just I'm glad to see you made it I had my doubts but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me I guess this must be Tarawea who are you my name is Juan Luis Jorge and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea you'll have to excuse me but Yermi never got your name the name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Yermi imagines. Hmm. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Yermi subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Yermi's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. 
<laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Oh, is a bridesmaid never a blushing bride? Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. Really? <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh, jeez. Just perfect. That was a long pause at the end of that cutscene. Quite the turtleneck? Yeah. Somewhere else entirely, find the convent of Tar Tar Tartula. Tarelia. The trousers look a mess, but his... Well, yeah, his pants are probably messed up because we've been going through so many dangerous areas, so he's kind of covered in blood. Yeah, his shoes look fine. I agree. That's his secret? Man is a snapping turtle? That would be a weird twist, but not impossible given that this is like someone's mind palace. It's very clear that's what we're in. This is this is Jeremy's mind palace, as it were. But I do like the idea that we can't... You can't go to your own mind palace even with magic. Or you would reach enlightenment, which would make you a Buddha. That would be... That's actually a, a very nice line. I like that. Do you have any advice on how to deal with the dark man? Hmm. I suppose suppression could work. Try not to pay him any attention. Interesting. Okay, so we're off. We gotta find the library to find out what's going on inside of Jeremy's head to help try to help him. If I had the opportunity to change one thing in the world, that is how I, I choose to waste that gift. Everyone gets the neck of a snapping turtle. That's... That is an odd choice. Every single human being able to stin their neck like that seems like an, an interesting change. Minimal overall effect, I guess, but... Yeah, that's an interesting change. I don't know if there's anything going on in here. So yeah, this mine palace looks like it's been rocked a couple of times. Ugh. Tremors of doubt or something. Babies don't have to learn... Don't learn to roll anymore. Just flip themselves with their heads. That sounds like a terrible idea since babies have, you know, soft spots on those heads. It's like you're asking for at least a little bit of a problem. I don't think it's a good idea for babies to use their heads for anything other than just, you know, containing brains and other organs. I don't know how much stealth I need to be worrying about right now. Hmm. I am the problem? <laughs> okay. Okay, so so far, no enemies. I don't like this. He mentions Freud, and then we have this sort of going through this. I don't know if I, I care for that too much. Oh. We're in a cutscene because I'm not controlling this, but I can control the camera. Which is odd. Are you immune to shovels? <laughs> Apparently, you're immune to shovels. Okay, you're immune to shovels. I'm fine with you being immune to shovels. It says, There's something missing. Hollow cross.
Too many people are these days? I mean, kind of. No effect. See, I don't like that it's a stone statue, but with a book that looks like it's a real, f a real book, not a stone book. That implies they got turned into stone after picking up the book, and I don't care for a for that, a basculus or a cockatrice or whatever. Turn them into stone. I think it's cockatrices can also do that, right? A basculus does it with sight, and I think a cockatrice does it with, with or like a venomous bite, I think. The Great Library, it's a clue. The Great Library it was endless, beautiful, and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. Hmm. My maniacal life, he will conjured by science and source secrecy. Interesting. But welcome, uh, Vile the Sinful. How are you doing? So yeah, so it is a cockatrice that, that turns people to stone with venom. All right. I do it through speaking. Bore them to stone. That's about right. I mean, I could say something, but I would get in trouble with HR, so I'm not going to say anything. I swear I'm not an elk. Not going to say anything. Wait, is that blood or it is blood? Concern. Coward. Also, there is no HR. I mean, there's still HR. I just don't have a special HR representative for this department specifically. Secrets? Secrets? I don't see any secrets. I was hoping for a secret. Maybe on the pillar. No? Gosh darn it. And then you use your stone cunning to gain advantage on your checks first then. Right, exactly. That makes sense, actually. But yeah, Vi uh, Vile the Sinful, how you doing? Hopefully you're having a nice uh, Saturday afternoon or whatever day of the week it is for you. As we s walk around with a bloody shovel through a man's mind palace library. Waiting for something to jump out and get us. See, Ica gets it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Immune to shovels. Oh, there's the cross thing, though. The key of hubris. Key item. After the suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Her Herbertus to keep Jeremy and his darkest secret safe from prowling eyes. Oh. It's go time. Is that the Shadow Man? Maybe. Oh, there's the Shadow Man. Saturday afternoon, right to here. Uh, load most recent save, please. One of the buttons, enter space. Oh! Okay, I don't like the noise. Okay, grab the key. Then the guy shows up. Okay, I think we're meant to run from him? Because he kind of wasn't looking at us, but I think he has like a death mark.
is so loud. I'm turning the volume down a little bit for me. Unmasked Evil. Another collectible. Ooh, we finished one. Nice. Uh, forbidden Knowledge. Show set bonus text. It's nothing. It just gives us Forbidden Knowledge. I don't know what that means. Okay, he's getting closer, so I'm going to continue running now. Huh. Oh, he's down here now. Well, that's cheating. like right over there in the corner. I guess not. Oh, he's up here now. I think I juked him. I thought the cross thing was like right here. Ah, oh, oh, he's turning into the various stone statues. That's how he's keeping up with us. Here we go. Was the other corner. Well, that's actually a lot louder than I thought it was in the in the strum. Hold on, let me turn that down a smidge. There we go. That should be a little bit more reasonable, hopefully. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. All right. So what am I? Oh, it opened the ladder. All right. Oh, we're actually taking damage over time. I didn't even notice that we were actively taking damage. I just assumed it was like a blind effect in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I like dodge forward to get out of there faster? Yes, yes I can. Bless you, thank you. Oh, hi. I didn't, I didn't expect you to be there. Oh, are we trapped? Might actively be traps? Dodge. Dodge. Because uh, there was something behind him in that corner. But. I don't think shooting him's going to do me any good, honestly. Go up the ladder faster. Okay. Door. Okay, I guess we lost him, sort of? See, the problem is, if this area was meant to be off-limits to the Shadow Man, we've just brought him with us now, which seems bad. So Need the shovels. Uh, okay. I don't know if it's a good idea to let the Shadow Man follow us here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Vinyl the Sinful. Have you have you played through this or watched someone play through it? I've been trying to not to get any spoilers, so I've. I think I watched one person play through like the beginning part that I'd already done, and I didn't want to get further than that. Unfortunately, they also did a uh, Edward Carnby, Carnby playthrough, so. No, I haven't played this before? Okay. Well, it's new for everyone. Okay. Well, okay, that's where we came in, right? Oh, is this the suspended room, then? Maybe this is the suspended room. I mean, vaguely. 
It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Oh. Hey. Exactly what I just said. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carby, think. Think. The shipping company. Prext. Right. Good luck. And it's exactly what I was just worried about. Is that if we find it, then we lead the Shadow Man to it. Wait, you're dead. Why are you here? Oh, we're still inside the memory. Never mind. Well, thank God you're here, Detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. Oh, this is someone I'm else. Never mind. Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. He's a librarian, right? I don't think so. I think the librarian were all those stone people that the. Uh. Uh, the shadow man turned oh, no. to stone, I'm guessing. I have great taste, detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the dark man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? <clears throat> no. But it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? The She's chosen to work with him. You don't have to like it, Carnby. You just have to accept its reality. Even though all this is nonsense. Shipping company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. Convenient. How did you do that? Do what, detective? Bon chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Figured it was the guy because Shadow Man didn't seem to see him. Um, maybe? Maybe that is what's supposed to be going on? Drop me off in New Orleans. Escape the Dark Man. And we got a matchbook as a collectible. Ooh, another one that got done. Okay, another forbidden knowledge. Oh, this one actually shows me something. New Orleans lies southwest of Dersetto, along the Great Mississippi River. Its old town, the French Quarter, or the Vieux Cré, is the home of the proud and often rich creels. Wrapped around the center, you will find a large and eccentric city full of people, including the most mundane dock workers, reckless gangsters, jazz-crazed flappers, and, of course, mysterious voodoo people. At night, you can stand on the lakeside of Dersetto and watch New Orleans glow like embers on the horizon. New Orleans lies southwest oh. of Dersetto. Well, I'm not going to listen through that again. Okay, this one unlocked the shotgun cabinets. Forbidden knowledge. Bull worship is common throughout history. 
For Christians, this can be seen in Exodus when the Israelites turn to worship a golden calf in Moses' absence. This passage shows the people falling back to the worship witnessed in Egypt, known as the Hapes Bull. Another famous example is the Minoans on the island of Crete. Their worship of the bull gave rise to the myth of the Minotaurus, the half-man, half-bull monster that reigned the labyrinth. But for this particular case, I think I should tell you about the deity Astarte that brought the Taurus constellation to life to attack Gilgamesh. Even for a mythical hero, this celestial bull would prove difficult to defeat. Only by distracting the bull with a golden sail was Gilgamesh able to pierce an eye with the spear, which bled the bull to death. Dang. The beast of burden. I don't know what they're exactly referencing, but okay. Looks for the Christ shipping company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. I'm sure I can find the address inside. Interesting. Okay. Well, what was the mission objective, please? Somehow, Combe was back oh. in New Orleans, close to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Conby felt confused by the pleasant nature of Terawea. It was somehow uncomfortable to him. Juan, the sweater wearing Buddha, wasn't helping either. <laughs> According to Conby, people just weren't meant to be this nice and genuine. Best to hurry off to the library, he thought, and see if he could find information about Jeremy's relationship with the dog man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so... Oh, okay, there are monsters here. I'm a little confused by these. One of the things I did see that everyone else apparently knows how to do except for me is that if you throw one of these Molotov cocktail things, it's supposed to apparently catch on fire, but it doesn't for me for some reason, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm not seeing a button input I'm supposed to press or something when I throw it. But yeah, for me for some reason I cannot get that to... Oh, hello there. Take that. Oh, okay. Maybe I was just having a bug or something last time? Oh, hi. How's it going? Could you, uh, could you, uh, could you maybe not? Machine gun cartridge. Supplies. Okay. Machine gun cartridge. We apparently f are going to get a machine gun. Good to know. Okay. I'm going to switch to the newer shovel. Alright, so apparently at some point we're gonna get a machine gun. Ho ho ho, now I got a machine gun. What's this? Debris! It's just a, a weapon. Okay. I think I prefer a shovel over just a burnt wood stick. I think I prefer a shovel over a burnt wood stick, if I had to guess. Oh, I lit myself on fire a little bit. Just a, just a little bit. Ow, I'm still on fire. Okay. Oh, you are swinging. And down. Okay. Wow, we are very badly damaged after lighting ourselves on fire like that. I don't know how we get rid of this effect, or if we can. If we're gonna look like this the whole time, it's gonna get really silly really quickly. It's locked from the other side. Okay, it just kind of faded. Yeah, I guess the blood area we are just represents. I'm old. Wow, you just got to run out and hit me. 
Okay. That I did not expect that. Let's top our health off. There must be another way inside. What's this? Clue. It's oh, it's just a map. Okay. Sewer entrance. Shipping companies over there. Harbor master office. And then there's two un undescribed points of interest. Interesting. So I guess we'll be going the sewer into system has a tunnel running right below Craig's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Okay. If you say so, bud. Oh no. I'm stuck on something again. Oh come on! You gotta be kidding me. There's nothing Okay, there we go. There we go. It's about to be very upset. No, don't drink the Why did you drink a booze? I didn't need you to waste a healing item. that other shovel shovel plus one oh. Ow. all right and it's down that was silly I like that was silly I didn't like well a lot of stuff suddenly just happened that I didn't care for Ooh, boat or I'll take that instead a, I don't like that we got stuck on nothing. There's nothing here to get stuck on. And B, I didn't like when that thing was able to just run out of the of the building and attack us. That was pretty dumb. It had been earlier that Molotov didn't burst to flame. Somehow I had imagined a person instead of throwing a Molotov uses it as a blunt object. Yeah, no, that that's basically what we were doing. It was doing the same thing as a brick before. I don't know if that was a bug or just dumb chance or something? Or maybe because I missed one of them? Ooh, sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't working before, but... We are hiring. Also, what's up with all the bird noise? Oh, there's a bunch of birds circling overhead. Well, at least that one was easy to figure out. Hello, bird. Ooh, one inside. Okay, we cannot explore the rest of this. Let's go in. Ugh. Pretty sure we just scraped our arm on that rusty metal roof, but that's fine. It's not that big a deal, right? We got... It's the door's key. Okay. Is that it? We have Stador's key. No idea what that's for. What? Where did you come from? Oh! Home run! Home run! Alright, uh, what time? Where were we at? Four hours and 46 minutes, call that a clip. We just sent that gentleman to the moon and back. Home run. Okay, so, I guess we're just going over here then. This is where the sewer is at. Collectible, typewriter, typewriter ribbon. Nice. Get some forbidden knowledge for that. We got brick. Maybe I need to. No way I can get this out of the way with my bare hands. Oh. But if I get that crane going, that should do it. Gotcha. So that's what the key was for to let us into the crane. Ooh. Can I hear another monster? I guess not. I thought I heard another monster. Oh well. Waste of a Molotov. Sadov key. Ooh, 
good. I don't even have to do with like a weird puzzle or nothing. Hold on. Oh, well, wait, what's this? More pistol bullets. Oh, there's the monster. Of course. After I waste that one Molotov. Oh, there's two of them. Three of them. Oh. Got him. Bonfire knife. Killing enemy with fire. I guess I hadn't done that up to this point. Okay. I thought that first one we lit on fire died from the fire, but I guess it was just for me punching him in, or hitting him in the face with a shovel. So that fire seemed to work on all three of them, which is cool. Oh, hello! What? Okay, where? What is happening? Where did you three come from, and why? I don't know if the monsters can chase us in here. I will take the meds, thank you. Okay, we got an enemy over there. We have a pipe. Oh, spiders! I swear I'm not an elk if you're around. Spiders, confirming spiders. Anything over there? We have brick. Ah. Might have actually snuck by that one. Might be the one time we actually managed to sneak by an enemy. Ooh, take that. Free heal. I'll take it. Okay, so the way you use those is you have to do it kind of from a, a pretty far distance. What's this? Oh, I assume we're getting into a boss fight. Okay, yeah, we're at full health and we're not bloody at all, so that is the determining factor then, I guess. Right. Made it inside the warehouse. This is a lot of healing. Maybe because maybe they're just doing it to be canonical that this is doing some illegal booze running or something. Also, where is machine gun? Oh, there's the horn. Nice. That was the last item we needed, right? Yes. Asleep with anesthetized mind. Yermi filtered these words from Darsepo's gangrenous ground. Ever their praises, and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice, and judge our worth. Ia, Shubnigrath. Ia, Shubnigrath. The black goat of the woods with a thousand young. <laughs> okay... Interesting. Not sure what I was supposed to get from that, but okay. Uh, a brick and a fire poker. Yeah, we're about to be, like, bombarded with enemies, I think. I don't know if it's a full boss fight or not, but it seems like something's about to happen. Oh, there's our Thompson. Wrong button. Hey, I always wanted to try one of these. Uh. Tommy gun. Sure. Okay. Only holds 20 rounds. Not what I was expecting, but all right. 
traditionally the magazine, like a square magazine like this, holds 30, and then the uh, drum magazine traditionally held 50, but... Who am I? Wait, is there something in here? Oh, there is. A clue. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered, but blood was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. I guess the standard Tommy is maybe 20? Uh, it's probably something they made up for this, but it, it, it's not impossible. The, uh, a lot of the time, um, the standard, like, civilian version of a weapon will have, like, a smaller magazine. Like, the original AR-15 magazines, or M-16 magazines, depending on what you're exactly talking about, was, was only a smaller 20-round thing before they went to the standard 30 that they use now. Okay, so... What was left, right? What was left? Left, four, right, or okay. Left, four, right, five, and then left, four? Uh, oh, two, three, four, one, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Nope. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, three, four. Mm, nope. Okay, so. That means that's not the direct. Okay. What is left, later is right, and heck is back again. So. If it's not four. What is left later is right. And heck is back again. What later and heck? I mean, these are definitely the clues to answering this or opening the safe. So, four, two, three, four, five. Okay, so maybe there's another clue that gives us the actual numbers that we need. Maybe that's just telling us to go left, right, left, and then the other actual numbers we need are something else. Five is a five and nine. I think that's too many numbers. An ace and an ace. And a six, five, three. So unless the numbers are will that be eleven? I guess if it's a nine, it would be like 14, two, 14, 14, two, 14. It's okay. It's starting on 12. So we can't go 14, two, 14. Um, okay. Else am I missing? Was there another clue? Alright, library. Offers. Maybe I missed a season no a journal. They still sail the lake. I need to remember how to get to them. Get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. Long I will see her burn soon enough. 
That black goat will sacrifice to put an end to it all. Be all over, no more Deseco. Talisman. Oh, okay, so they got rid of all those other papers I don't need anymore. Edward Carnby. Okay, so it sounds like Perosi was actively fighting against Tillman. All those things. Unless it's left to four, then right to five, and then left to four again? Let me go all the way back to five. Go back to four? Nope. Oh, I'm. That's six. Never mind. That's my bad. It's on me. Alright, so left to four. All the way back to five. Oh. That's. Huh. Alright. <laughs> so you just go. And heck is, and heck is back again. So yeah, so it was go to four, left to four, right to five, and then just go straight to four. That's an interesting safe design. Yargo Manifesto, September nineteenth, eighteen ninety-two. Breck Shipping Company delivered four steamer trunks, one Egyptian sarcophagus, and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh. Performing at Gaitin Street. Interesting. So he met an actual mag magician, eh? Here we go. The address where Jeremy first encountered the Dark Man. Okay. So the monster fighting is going to commence. to know where. Ah, there it is. Well, that was something. It's a healing item. Technically we could make that into a Molotov, but it's probably more useful as a healing item. Ah, oh, we missed! Those Molotovs did some work for us, it looked like, though. Yeah, there's only one of them left. Also, whatever that is, outside of the, the play area. Uh, monster. That is not even close to where I was aiming. Alright, I guess we just go beat this thing up with a fire poker. Let's go beat it up with a fire poker, shall we? Also, doesn't seem to want to come upstairs for some reason. And it's down! Nice work. Alright, I wasn't sure what was, uh, what all was gonna happen. Yeah, that, that first Molotov hit them right as they came through the door, and it hit, I think, four of the five of them. Dang, that worked out perfect. Looks like the fog cleared up. What? Edward, are you okay? Honey, the, the fog did not clear up, hun. Maybe you meant the fog on the front door specifically. Maybe that's what you meant. Because, yeah, that's, uh, there's still quite a bit of fog around, Edward. Alright, I'm guessing that's where we're meant to go. Oh, actually, maybe not. Let me see what's over here first. Healing item, we don't need that. Empty. Ooh, poster. Collectible. Black Pharaoh. The Temple of Mysteries. Miracles, Dark Magic, Wonders. Okay. 
Okay. Let's try this again. Oh. Okay, I guess this isn't that harsh of a transition. The address of the event where Jeremy first met the dark man surprised Pompey. The infamous Gallatin Street didn't exist any longer, and he wondered if he would be able to find the right building. Was it still standing? Did it matter? Maybe this world was not just another place, but another time as well. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Interesting artwork. This is a very tall building that does not have any rooms in it? It's just stairs. For when you want no guests and maximum space between you and other people. It's a five-story building, no rooms, except for one at the top. There's Jeremy, I think. You want to tell me what this is all about? <laughs> Welcome, detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Now the hotel, the Black Pharaoh, the ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So you got scared by a stage magician and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Look where we are. <laughs> we didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the dark man. No. Can't. We were trying to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. Her? But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. What are they? You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Inconvenient. Jeremy, I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. God damn it, Jeremy. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. He walks like he has stiff knees. Like his knees bother him, you know? How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Well, he's gonna get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. Okay. Two and M? And uh, an H. Oh, okay, so these are the symbols from the people. Let me get my note paper back out. I'm happy I wrote this down. It's become more relevant than I thought it was going to be. Um, I need to get a new piece of note paper. This thing is covered in random garbage. Maybe this is not the right paper. Do I have another note paper? I don't see another note paper. But this, this is the numbers that, oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, so I need to write these down and then correlate them in the book. Okay, that I can do. So we've got kind of Whatever, I guess, like, the doorway symbol, sort of. Doorway. We've got the M with a tail. 
And now I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it the end with the tail. And sort of the exaggerated H. All right, so that'll give me the numbers to the temple, I'm guessing. What's this one? Ah, okay. So now we're going to have to figure that out. I'm going to look around and see if there's anything else I can acquire real quick, but it doesn't look like it. I'm assuming the store's locked. Yep. Requires a key. All right, so then we get the notes out. So we've got, oh, there's two different ones with a tail. Okay. So we got door, which is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five, and then we got the one with M with the tail, the like curly tail, which is gonna be eight. And then we've got the, the exaggerated H which is, looks like Pisces, so two. Five, eight, two, to get where we're needing to go, it seems like. Uh, so, oh wait, we got the arrows on the bottom. Five, eight, <coughs> two. Okay, so that's not the right combination. Oh, that one's on the outside, so it's going to be two first. Got it. So two, uh, five, eight, I think. So this one needs to be eight. And then this one needs to be five over here. And then this one needs to be two. Yep, there it is. Duh, that makes sense. The two was on the outer ring. A chair. Okay. Uh, maybe one of the chairs. Okay. So now we'll go back to... Or not. Oh, it actually opened. Wait, why did it show the chair then? I guess I had to turn around and look at the chair and then this opened? Oh, this is cool. I'm losing my mind, walk into the desert. Find a way inside the sunken temple. Wow. We're about to have a eclipse here in the States. I assume it'll affect other parts of the world also. Okay, so that looks like it's down. Ooh, I don't know how I like these fires in the distance thing. I have concern that those are going to be more relevant than just as a way marker. Ugh. Carnby really needs to, like... Maybe do a little bit of calisthenics or something. All right. Anchor. Okay, so we need a rope. A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Uh, such an odd thought to have. I was suddenly teleported to, like, I'm guessing some sort of Egyptian desert. I don't know if my first thought is, let me get down into that, into that old abandoned temple. Machine gun bullet. A single machine gun bullet. The temple of Nephron Ka lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from oral ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. 
The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus, the Black Sun, was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. <coughs> sure. Several streams pooled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented. But often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. Okay, well that sounds cool, but you, I feel like you're implying a lot of everything here is inherently evil, and I don't know if it necessarily has to be. Also, that fire is barely burning. Because I love that the, what is the reward? I don't know, but presumably it's evil. This is a very fun, like, over-the-top dramatic thought. Oh, I'm all bat monsters? Interesting. I think it's the second time we've seen bat monsters. What is the camera doing? Oh. That was odd. The camera just kind of lingered over there. The reward is an Egyptian guard, god card. So we can just get the whole five sets of, uh, what's his face? The insta win guy? It's the old temple me mechanisms to reveal the contract. Exodia? Can we just get the Exodia cards? No, not Exodia? Oh, okay. He seemed ancient and Egyptian. Canopanic jar. We have a jar full of organs now. Fun. I have to keep in mind with the with the collectibles that we can't get those all in one run. They specifically stated that you have to do that. At, like, oh no, not again! Why does this keep happening? They need to fix that. That needs to be fixed. So what are some of the other Egyptian god cards? I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Wow. It has its own theme. That's good to know. It's the star constellation from one of Jeremy's books. The Taurus. And one star's clearly bigger. Must be important. Okay. The problem is... Oh, wait, wait. Do I need, like, my flashlight on? Obelisk, the Tormentor, Silver, the Sky Dragon, and the Winged Dragon of Ra. Okay. I mean, Raw is pretty Egyptian, right? Oh, wait, wait, what's that? Ah, here's what I'm looking for. Like, they're not giving me anything to interact with. It worked. Oh, hello. What? What? Enough. Get off of me. You don't appear to be immune to bullets, idiots. How's Evil Within going? <laughs> 1930s Evil Within? It's going pretty good. They need to fix a couple of the uh, hitbox interactions with certain things. I keep getting stuck on top of like random boxes and 
little things like that, but the rest of it's fine. Batman? It's yeah, it's the the little it's the littlest Batman. Alright, so what did this actually open? Okay, I'm gonna stare directly into it and blind myself. That's definitely what they want me to do. Ah, this is open now. Okay, great. That's what we were missing. Welcome back, Jake the Great White. Nothing in that one. Yeah, there's a little bit of technical problems they need to fix for sure. Okay, we got another lever. We got mm. the lens. There's something missing. The horizon key item. A lens crafted with a, with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling uh, hieroglyph. Okay. That's a lot of skulls. Okay. Turn the lights on. This one looks operational. Dang, it's got a laser cannon now. Just watch Dune was pretty good. The first one or the second one? Oh, we can actually burn stuff with this. It is actually a laser. Nifty. Part two? Oh, okay. I mean, I heard lots of good things about the first one. I haven't heard as much about the second one, but... I think I remember it had made a lot of money. I remember people talk, like, seeing some articles about how it made, like, 200, 000, $200 million, but it was made on, like, an $80 million budget. And the director was complaining about how good movies can be made for much smaller budgets than people are actively making movies for right now, which I thought was kind of interesting. They're better than most modern movies without a doubt. Interesting, okay, that's good to know. Oh, that's what I was planning to do. I completely spaced on that. I was gonna go to the movies and get some popcorn yesterday. Probably would have been super busy though. Friday night, movies are usually pretty busy. I guess I could go tonight after the stream and get some popcorn and watch a movie. Okay, we made our way. Brick implies enemy. Yeah, it was busy. Yeah, I could see that. I'm really craving some popcorn, though. Like, a, just a big old double large tub of, of popcorn. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Wrong button. Huh. Okay, we need some more reflector dishes. Okay. I was hoping I could sledgehammer these things, but he can't really aim up with it. And their hitboxes are wonky because they're flying. Can't do anything with that yet. I have to go get the other mirrors in place. Gotta love when ancient cultures like this had super powerful lasers. Collectible? Unspeakable cults. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was the only one in there we could hit with the sledgehammer. Got it. Yeah, but what what snacks do you get to go along with your movie? Just popcorn and a soda, an icy and some jujubes or something? Like, what do you, what's your treat of choice with a movie? Okay, so this one we can. Oh, I'm assuming we need to hit this other. Wait, can I fire the laser at these guys? Oh, you can't, nice. Got him. Yeah, I myself am a uh, 
popcorn and, and icy guy. Nice big buttered popcorn and a, a nice big blue raspberry uh, icy is for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I just need to be aiming this at the crown, I think, for now. I'm gonna leave it there. At least we were able to use the lasers to kill those flying bat monster things. That's cool. Oh. Wow. I killed that one so hard it forgot how to fall. I'll get whatever. I don't drink sugary sodas, but I do like some good popcorn. Fair. That's totally fair. Nothing. Alright. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, movie theaters don't have much in the way that isn't soda for drinking. I had some buffalo pretzel chunks. Love those things. Buffalo pretzel chunks. That sounds pretty good. What's what's that? Is it the, is buffalo the brand or does it have like buffalo meat in it? Either way, I'm kind of interested. Hmm. Okay, so I still need a lens. Was I supposed to get a lens? Oh. There we go. Wait, isn't this where I just came in? Buffalo flavored, mega salt intake, but darn good. Oh, alright. Buffalo flavored pretzels does sound pretty good. Yeah, this just takes us back to this. I must have missed another open door or something somewhere. Also, it was odd that there was like a modern pickaxe inside of an ancient tomb. But let's not dwell on, on that nonsense. Oh, maybe I have to use this to open the next door? Uh, what would I need to aim this at, though? I can't aim it at the ground. Ah, there we go. That's what I got aiming at. It worked. Did it? Are you sure. That's what we're missing. Okay. Ugh, now I want. Hi there. Uh, now I want like pizza. If I hear buffalo flavored, I always think of wings and pizza. Not really craving wings, but pizza sounds really good. Snack. Snark! Buffalo pizza is good? Yeah, that sounds really good. I uh, almost got some of that the other day. I think on like Tuesday, but... I didn't want to waste... They, they wasn't ready yet, and I had to get it to go. And I was only getting like two slices of it. A des. Interesting. And uh, I didn't want to wait for it, so... Ah, there's one laser thing. Bam. But yeah, maybe I'll order some uh, buffalo chicken pizza after the stream. I didn't have a particularly large breakfast, so I could stand to get some extra calories. And my, my New Year's resolution of losing weight has been going very well, I think. All my clothes are fitting much better. I will say that much. What is this? Oh, there's one of the things we needed. Perfect. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't really been doing anything crazy. Just reduce my calorie intake. Cut down on, you know, snacks like... Um... All the way back down here. Nice. Like ice creams and stuff. Cut down on that. Candies and stuff. Cut down on that. I'm down 10 pounds from 2030 to 2010. So good luck. Yeah. I mean, 10 pounds at the start. And I'm not like working out or anything to really exaggerate the, the change. Don't get me wrong. So it's just, you know, a calorie deficit. And I can tell I'm down some weight. My gut's definitely smaller, and like I said, my clothes are fitting much better. 
which is really the reason why I started, was just to... I guess I just gotta go back up there now? Was it just feel a little bit more comfortable in my clothes? That's the only diet that works? Yeah. Yeah. You... I, I am not a fan of any fad diet. The vast majority of them... Huh. Or at best going to work for like a minute and then the second you stop doing them okay so this doesn't go here then oh up on the third floor that one yeah like the second you stop doing them that you immediately start gaining the weight pack the only real true diet is to just a calorie deficit mm. it doesn't have to be miserable and just you know you just reduce your calorie intake a little bit. It's not that bad. Oh, you guys are idiots, aren't you? You just flew right into the laser beam. Why would you do that? Why would you fly into the laser beam? Cutting carbs is a huge mistake. Yeah, because it only works until it you go you and you need carbs. Like, you, if you want to reduce your carbs because most carb things are heavy in calories, that's fine. You can't do no carbs. That's just how you die. Limiting calories, heavy foods that have carbs is good. Right, exactly. Exactly. It's everything's a balance. You need carbs for energy, you need proteins for muscles, and you need vitamins to have everything else work. Why were you on the ground, you little idiot? You little buffoon, why were you on the ground? You have wings. Fly into the air where you're much more of a threat. What a buffoon. The buff the buffoon. I don't I don't understand. Why were you so buffoony? But yeah, any of those fad diets, they just the second you're not on them anymore, they stop working. And that undermines the purpose. Plus, I can do low carb anyway. I love pastas and breads too much. Oh, hello. I did not expect to see you here. Why don't you just tell me the name of the movie you want to see? Will you take laser damage? No. No, you won't. Oh, it broke. Well, we got one of them. We got one of them. I'm gonna go grab my sledgehammer, see if we can't take out the other one. Oh. Oh, I guess I had the sledgehammer. Alright. Oh, there's multiple in here. Oh, wait, so what happened to my sledgehammer then? I guess my sledgehammer just stopped existing. I guess that makes sense. If you break this, you need other melee weapons for breaking down other doors, so they have to give you an infinite amount. Have you played Evil Within 2? That's a module I can get behind. I have not played the second one yet, no. We finished up the last one just recently, so I have not... I have not jumped into the second one yet. Not opposed to it, and I... Uh, we have it available. It's just I haven't actually played it yet. I've heard it's better than the first one, which is good, because the first one was fine. I don't know if I, I love it as some as some as much as some. So not as good as RE4, but a little but little is. Yeah, RE4 was a weird magical moment in, in modules. Well that's odd. This one isn't actually letting stuff on fire like the other ones do. Okay. I'm gonna call that objective for the moment the module play of two is much better well that's good that's good the first one was a little finicky as long as they fixed the bosses really for me the first one was hampered by the bosses I did not care for the boss fights stealth is actually powerful the stealth in the first one wasn't terrible either it just wasn't great it just it needed just a little bit of a adjustment very few gimmick gimmick one-shot bosses. Oh, thank God. I hate that kind of thing. Okay, what 
have we got going on here? Is this the last one of these? Hopefully. I would like a new melee weapon, but it won't let me pick up a sec a newer one. For some reason. But yeah, I hate one-shot bosses. It's just it's a terrible idea. The force chase scenes drag my rating of one down a lot. Forced. Oh, here we go. We can actually. Forced chase sequences. Oh, where you're like you're running down the hallways and the camera's like panning behind you or whatever? Are you talking about like that? Yeah, those were a little weird. They weren't terrible, I just they weren't great either though. Okay, so Okay, so this should be the last one. I assume. Hmm. Great. Now it's just I can't point it down anymore. Ah, oh, am I pointing this at you? Ah, there we go. Yeah, for me the first one was just dragged down by the boss fights, personally. Outside of that, the rest of it was okay. It needed a little bit of refinement. They made everything just a little too stiff. Um, but outside of that, I think it was fine. I think I gave it like a, a B minus, C plus sort of thing. I guess I gotta go to the other one and fire that beam at it? I thought I had to pick that up and do something with it, or, like, direct the beam from it to something else, but... I'm not sold on this module. So far, I've really enjoyed it. The only problem I've had with this thing is that the combat's a little clunky. Um... Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? No? Oh, there we go. Okay, I do need to refocus all of these at that middle section. Okay. Yeah, the combat's a little clunky, and that's the only problem I've really had. That and then, like, graph the little, like, glitches, where we'll be walking and then get stuck on top of something, or we'll get blocked by something that's invisible that probably isn't there yet, or was isn't there anymore. If you play Under Rail, you can play most modules. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you can play under rail, you can play most things. Yes. If you if you can handle the the jank that is under rail, yeah, you can definitely handle basically anything else. The module does so many really interesting and fun I I, I things and also so many frustrating ones. Like today when I walked in that fire. That was incredibly frustrating for me. Alright, so now what are we doing? Oh, I can't go left and right, it's only up and down. Boo! I wanted to burn more of the tapestries! Oh. It's coming apart! Oh! Guess I can't go that way anymore. An easy, accessible module under rail is not. No. I've actually had people, like, I've told people about about this, and about Underrail, and I've told them, like, yeah, it can be fun, but you look up a build guide. You do not want to go into this blind, you 100% need a build guide, because otherwise you will make an unusable character. Why can't I go this way? Oh, there we go. That was weird. For a second there, our character got stuck on nothing and could not hold. Dead man. Except that one module, you always have one limb. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because I had a bunch of graphical errors that were, or, or, or glitches. That wasn't because the module necessarily was bad. It was just broken for me for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm running. That's why you're also running. Oh, I did not expect. Oh, 
Mother likes the o my brother likes the OG fallouts, but was instantly frustrated by Underrail. Is this on on module pass? No, I just bought it on Steam. As far as I'm, I don't know if it's on module pass. It just came out, so I'm doubtful. But it's not impossible. Darn it, Theo. Darn it, Theo. Yeah, I don't... The, there was clearly something going wrong when I played through that one limb module. Some sort of... Something was busted when I played through that. That's not how it's meant to work. I've watched other people play it. That's not how it's meant to work. Oh, it's Fist of the North Star? Oh, I thought that was from uh, JoJo. I think, and so far, so far, that one limb module has been the only module I've raged with. I've played through literally everything else that I've been recommended. D4 is a generic module that is, a, is painful for me. Well, that's because the first, like, three are really good. The first three are super good and interesting. I kind of remember I have the dodge button. Ow. Can we just not with this? Oh, come on! I dodged away! What even hit me there? I love it re-kills all the flying guys. Might as just module out with the Black Parade mod campaign and it's a masterpiece for people. I'm like, oh, I'm not even familiar with it. I've heard great things about the first two, and then I played the third one, the like Age of Metal one, and I had a lot of fun, and that was considered bad in its time. So I have to imagine the first two must be super fun, and the third one I liked was was considered bad. And then yeah, you've got like the more modern one from what, like six or seven years ago that everyone thought was not great. Oh, we're back to having our... Ow. Seriously? Really? I can't go that way. Ow? Ready to collapse. Drink your booze and shut up and run. Oh, come on. He was nowhere near me for that. Yeah, I'm still gonna go with the combat as the worst part of this. Everything else has felt fine. Nice attack hitboxes. Yeah, that was terrible. I was nowhere near that guy. He was literally swinging in the opposite direction of me. I have no idea why that got to, got to hit. And the terrible gun recoil. To be, I mean, I'm I, I'm of two minds about the recoil on the way the guns handle. One, it is a very small pistol, so it's not going to be very accurate. But two, it is only a 32. Knowledge, psychological trauma, breakthrough barriers of self-deceit, tempermatic behavior. These are the dark man's terms. The contract. Huh? So he has to better himself. So, he has to get better or he has to get worse to stay on in the contract? Dude, you have a gun. Get your gun out. What are we doing? Oh my god, we're getting Dark Souls. It's that one part from Dark Souls when you go up to the, the capital up on top of the mountain. But yeah, I'm of two minds about the gun recoil. One... It's a small, it's a small revolver, so it's not going to be super hey. accurate. Hey, is that you? But two... What are you doing? Oh, I found something. Great. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. 
I think I know how to break the contract with the Dark Man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead, and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. Well, <laughs> fair. just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have to... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I worry, detective. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me. You're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. Okay, so I think his weird stiff leg thing is just supposed to be him accumulating damage. The Dark Man's contract. There is... Oh, it has individual pages, okay. Reason for admission. Oh, it's in the form of the contract for Dorsetto. It has some symbols on it. Jeremy. Date of admission 913 or 93. I can't tell if that's a one or a dash. Because all of these are at a slight angle, like it's italicized or something. It's an acknowledgement, psychopathic trauma, break through the barriers of self deceit, tamper, temper, manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the Heartwood curse. Only the surgical dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, Doing so would be the doom of Dorsetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, O oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. See, this again makes me almost kind of think that the Dark Man isn't evil inherently. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. I have to play this in case there's extra. Only which there the is sacrificial sometimes. dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dorsetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, oh crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Okay, didn't add anything. Break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. Where I belong. Return to Dorsetto. Yeah, in regards to the revolver, it's a small revolver, so it's not going to be particularly accurate, but it is only a 32 ACP, so it shouldn't have a lot of recoil to it, even being as small as it is. So it's a little odd how inaccurate his revolver gets how quickly. It's... Just for this evening, we some ambiance. Agreed. So I don't know if it's necessarily too much recoil, or if it's more of they're supposed to be implying maybe he's just not good with a gun or something. I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's just a mechanic they implemented to make things, you know, more difficult, or if it's supposed to be a comment on his... Abilities. Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, they're alive. You run into that dick fella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think he wanted a good guy. Well, you know, not us. Will he be all right with her coming? Praise the mother. He don't need to know about all that. Let go. Just calm down. Ain't time yet. God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. Ooh, twists. Jeremy might actually be actively suppressing some kind of greater evil. Okay, that must be the prison he was talking about. The two orderlies still hadn't found Jeremy. Conby figured this was good news. Emily had reminded him about some strange deaths at Dossetto, 
and Combe wasn't sure who he could trust. Combe oh. never thought he'd be so happy to be back at the Seto. It felt like he had crawled through a long, dark tunnel of misery and regret. Now that he was back, Combe could look into the steps mentioned in the contract. But there was one thing that gnawed on him. What exactly did this have to do with Dr. Gray? Indeed. The the black goat lady or whatever they keep mentioning. I'm very curious where the, what they're doing with that. It sounds like maybe this place, like the orderlies and everyone were trying to do some sort of ceremony to summon her. Jeremy found out about it and made a bargain with the Dark Man. In a Basically, in exchange, the Dark Man locked this place up and made it crazy to stop her being summoned, but is in the meantime is being tormented. So that's an interesting twist. Okay, whatever that is, is immune to sledgehammers. Get a boost. Take the edge off. So where am I actually going now? Sacrificial dagger. A dagger swathed in the grip of two sleek snakes. Found buried in the sunken temple along with the dark man's contract. Yeah. Break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. Okay, well that'll be up on the... Is that on the second floor? Christ, what the hell was that? It's blocked. Oh. Guess we ain't going back that way. Let's take a quick bathroom break, shall we? Let's just, uh... That is a gross shower. Or bathtub, I guess, technically. Oh. Broken spectacles. We found another collectible. Secret objective. Dying with dignity. Open knowledge. Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. The knowledge. Another secret objective. A goat without horns. I'm assuming this is... Maybe these are how you get different endings? Secret objective. All the world's a stage. A bit of knowledge. A bit of knowledge. I think some of these are how you get alternate endings. Because only the, only the shotgun one unlocks an item. The rest of them are all just like... Random other little tidbits. Says. Oh, it's a clue. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. Mm hmm. Was Grace the little girl? Is that why she's so dramatic? Because she knows she's going to be sacrificed to summon the goat lady? Well, this looks a little different. Another clue. Lunacy in the Estrate Artist Colony. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Pontchartrain. 
Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. What? His fellow colonist Heinrich Castle did know because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of Derseto's history. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Derseto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Derseto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known, and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books, like Urnaus Preschlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, oh. and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at their seto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte artist colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Okay. Dang. Well, I'm happy I found that note. That really twists the wind a little bit, eh? What? What? Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. May, like, like I was saying, the dark man didn't seem inherently evil, and I don't know if he is inherently evil. He might just be the lesser of two evils, I guess, if... if if Jeremy's using him to stop uh, the, the black goat woman or whatever they call her. I'm not saying that other one that has some verbiage in there. I don't want to mess up. Dino and Anina's season's season commenced Saturday evening. Tickets on sale now. New Orleans Theater. Oh. Some more collectibles hmm. huh is that his office it's not that's the drawing room okay oh that's where the 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 uh, telescope was I think odd that we can't get back in there though so it looks like we have to go upstairs since we can't go through this door into the piazza. Aww. 
one. Let's see anything going on outside? Well, it doesn't inherently look like it. Explains why they built this elaborate greenhouse to this tree. I'm guessing we're gonna burn this tree down at some point. Which I'm fine with. Let's burn down the, the whispering tree, shall we? This has made some interesting twists. I'm really digging it. Okay, can't go back out that way. I'm very curious to see what the final twist in Edward Carnby's story is gonna be. Burn the Zane plant? Yeah, we are. Something else has got to happen here. 100% something else is going to have to happen with his story. We are missing something in here that explains why he's so calm with all the magic. Like, it's going to turn out he's done this all before, and he's in some sort of time loop, or he's actually partially, like, a wizard from Europe. Because he says he's, he's a Yankee, so he's not from the South. It's blocked. So there's definitely... We need that other little tidbit. I don't want to run into the Orbeez right now. I'm not sure I can trust them. Oh, are we breaking into his room? Oh, do not disturb. Please do not disturb the occupants of this room. St. George Hotel. Forbidden knowledge. Okay, so if I can't go that way... Oh, I guess we go through the dining room. No, these are also, this is blocked and this is locked. How? Those are both blocked. Um, that's blocked. That's also apparently locked right now. What am I missing? Something must change here in a moment because otherwise all of our paths to get over to Dr. Gray's office are blocked. Okay, we were in here before. I mean, I guess I could try going to the basement and going into the kitchen and seeing if maybe that lady isn't in the kitchen anymore. We came in here and got that other note. That's the bathroom, right? That door locked behind us. Oh, that's also locked. Yeah, there's gotta be something I'm missing then. Okay, resistance to sledgehammers. Oh, maybe this other door's open now? The one that got locked for no apparent reason over here? Yeah, that takes us outside. Nope. That's still locked. Maybe I just need to go to, like, to the entrance or... Oh, no, the entrance is on the other side of the building next to Dr. Gray's office. That's 
blocked. Maybe there's something else upstairs I'm missing then. Because it's just this door and that door up here. Yeah, that's still locked. Hold on. Break into Dr. Gray's office and find a way. Okay. Does it have something to do with the dagger, maybe? So, locked, locked, nothing, nothing, locked, locked and, or open and then it goes into the locked thing. Maybe there's something else I have to do out in the garden then? We got the shotgun, that's locked, nothing in here. We went downstairs. Or wasn't that led to a dead end? This just leads out over here. Oh, this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this has been blocked with wood and stuff. Whoa. What? Wait, what was that noise? Oh. Oh, the ladder fell back down. Okay. That's not what that sounded like, but alright. I guess that's what happened. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna have to fight this bear at some point. I wonder if we're gonna have to fight that bear at some point. I need the key. This door is locked. I can't leave. I got a job to do. Okay, Carnaby, this goes well beyond you having a job to do, bud. You have to admit that to yourself now. We are beyond the... We have a job to do. I'm checking these other rooms to see if anything else has gone on in here. So this is Jeremy's room. Aha! Detective Combi, I'm terribly sorry that my niece has pulled you into this mess. Please, with all my blessings, take her away from this cursed place. I have destroyed that eater of worlds and locked it away in the attic and retreated to a place of hiding. Tell Emily I'm safe. Tell her all the lies you can think of to make her listen. Take her back to Norlands. Sincerely, Jeremy. Okay. This is just a, an average Tuesday to him. That would actually be impressive if that's what the twist is. That that he's just done this so many times that he's not even like concerned with all this anymore. It would explain his like nonchalant attitude about this whole situation. Trust me. Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. The, the best way to make it sound even more like you're lying. You can trust me, I promise. Also, the Mama Loa is an interesting uh, implication in all this. Uh, Loas, from what I understand, have to do with, like... The, the traditional voodoo and the Loas are kind of the spirits of the other world that you invoke to ask for their favor in various things. From what I understand, that's a, a cursory outsider looking in understandance of the situation at best. What's this one? Ah, we got this unlocked. That's good. Oh, good. Okay, good. We can get back into here quickly. So now we have a way across the house again instead of the, uh, that one path that's blocked off now. Why didn't that zoom in so much? Okay, this is locked. Oh, is this because... Oh, this is the area where the orderlies were standing 
I think, is why that zoomed in. The dramatic reveal that it's empty now. Oh. Oh, this guy. We haven't actually run into him in a while. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Hey, Grace, you okay? Oh, she is just peachy, Detective. Are you looking forward to the Feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink, we pay tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. Oh. The usual. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. I haven't figured out the correlation there just yet, but... McCarthy was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Conby. It was like watching the worst version of himself mock him by simply being worthless. <laughs> While Conby enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard, there was something terrifyingly familiar about Grace. It was taunting him. Like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. Again, there's that, like, repeating, we're in a time loop or something thing. What is this? Oh, it's a key. First floor hallway key. All right, cool. Gotta hold on to these. Wouldn't want them to get lost. I uh, hear you there. This one's full of water, too. That actually got me for a second. I'm like, oh, it's an ambush! I almost, almost drew my weapon on that one. I almost went full acorn cop on that door. What's this? Movie script, Slaughter Gulch. Sending to Mr. I can't tell what that says. Oh, we got forbidden knowledge. What did you expect from them? You created too much. There wasn't any room to breathe. Your reification rendered all possible worlds void. You took everything they could imagine and constrained it into something that you didn't even care about. Or maybe you did. Perhaps you cared the most of all. Maybe you tried to save them from themselves. And that is why you had to die. Huh. Death of an author. Broken spectacles, movie script, and a typewriter weapon. Interesting. Door gun? Yeah. Almost put a round in that door. Why can we still interact with this? I'm very confused about that. It might just be a bug. There's plenty of other bugs in this so far, so. Cassandra's last page. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long, but that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Oh. Okay, 913. Take a look inside the empty room. Well, what about the clerk's office? I don't even know what that means. The clerk's office? Grace's room, Cassandra's room, watch closet, the sitting room. Oh yeah, we still need the piece that the French piece for the 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 globe. Ah, clerk's office is over there. I'm guessing this must be the safe then. OK. 
Okay, wait, so there's something inside of Grace's room? Grace's drawings. Oh, we have one of those. We must need to have both? Jack in the box. Wait, was that... I forgot to look at it in case it was relevant in the moment. Can we do this one? Orleans lies southwest of Jakarta along the Great Mississippi River. It's a little town of proud and often rich creoles. Okay, yeah, we've seen that one. Or listened to it, I guess. Opera Playbill. Pirates of the Pontretarian. When it makes you worse. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, if they if they fix the bugs and the, the programming bugs and the combat, they just tighten the combat up a, a little bit. This is like straight up like a B plus A minus for me right now. I'm really digging this. I guess we'll just go down to the clerk's office and do the save first instead of checking in room three. Which is... Okay, this is reception here. Nothing? Okay. I'm gonna get lethal, or, uh, lethal company to... I was bringing too much. Key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. Ah, that's what we're here to do, is get the spare key from the safe. I don't have the combination for this. Maybe Jeremy did. What? It's it's nine one three. So, so. Let's see. Nine. Wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, three. Gave us the numbers. We don't have the order of operations yet. I need the key. First floor hall key. What we got here? The Flying Dutchman. Interesting name for a steamboat. What a terrible thing to recognize that your betterment was an illusion. That you are so infatuated by the virtue of struggling that despite all your hard work, you made no real efforts to ever become well. Or that the treatment becomes such an obsession that instead of letting your wounds heal over time, you tear at the flesh in the hope that it will heal better and faster. If only it would bleed in the way you wanted. Do we ever become well? What do you think, Dr. Gray? Interesting. Okay. I mean, this is just gonna. It's barred. Because there is, like, the way that contract read definitely sounded like. Yeah, he was refusing to help himself. Inside the empty room. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's all we got left to do now. It's odd me knowing that we could play as as Emily. But she seems completely calm and like there's not really anything too odd going on. Even though she's that means in her playthrough we're probably going through very similar stuff to what, what Edward's going through. I assume this is bedroom three. No, or not. Wait. First bedroom. Okay, maybe there's a different bedroom? 
Like, we still... Oh, this must be the hallway that the key is for. Okay, so we can go into those other sets of rooms now. That's gotta be what that is. Also, that clock has developed a bit of rot on it. I don't know if that was there before. I thought he took his gun out, but he was putting his gun away. Oh! No, no. He's gone. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Just some bullets. Take that. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. It's like a mix of booze and some notes. I don't have a tool to open that yet. Moment of clarity. Sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That the Seto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about this at all. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Hmm. Nothing in the drawer. Hmm. I mean, what is it? By what is it? There's a there's a condition where you basically hurt someone around you to take care of them because taking care of them makes you feel special. I. It's by proxy something. Munchausen by proxy. And I'm wondering if if Jeremy has a, a variant of that where he he only feels right if he's trying to actively recover from something. I don't know what the term would that for that be. The Munchausen by proxy is probably the most the closest thing I can think of that I've ever heard of in regards to this sort of condition. Ah, we got this unlocked now. That might have actually unlocked a f bit of a fast travel for us, maybe? So we might be able to go through there now and then go up and go through a door to get, get around the house. The empty room always felt familiar. It had a mild fragrance of crushed leaves and wet sand that somehow convinced visitors that they belonged. It wasn't real, of course, but it was more real than many other things you could find. This is my room. What? I belong here. Oh, oh. He's, he's just falling for the magic. Okay. I thought it was going to turn out like this looks like his office room or something I know the combination I carry it with me okay so this is where the 913 is oops nine one three no nine one three hmm well, let's go look at this and see. I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? Number 196 something 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 dash LA. Okay, so is this 196 instead for this one? Oops. 
one, nine, Read the writing on the wall, which, yes, I did. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Number 196. One, number, 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 LA. Is any of this real? Am I missing something? Okay, I can't move the, can or the light. Oh, wait, what's this? Ashes of Indigo. Unspeakable cults. Two, three. I recognize this view. Hey, well, as long as you do, because all I see is glow outside. Which is funny, because it's supposed to be nighttime and raining outside. So one nine six X X X. So is it just one nine? The problem is there's one nine six. Nine. Oh. One. Nine. Actually, we might not still pull this off. Nope. Number one nine six. Carry it with me. Oh, one nine six six nine two. It's his. That's what he meant by he carry it. Six nine two. Okay, six nine two. Six nine two. There it is. Okay. Uh, pen. Pick a yoon? Detective Carnby. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Okay. Take care now. My coffee. Find the missing piece. How long have I been here? Uh, that's a good question, I guess. I'm starting to lose the thread of this a little bit. I didn't... Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Oh, they want me to use this as a tool. Then why not just give me a screwdriver? Oh, it's a big spooky monster. Look at that, the missing picture. Huh. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shank? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Oh, we're not in, not in the t in the house anymore. Locked. Okay. Where are we going this time? What the hell happened in here? Well, clearly we're not in here anymore, Carnby. Shovel or a sledgehammer? We'll take the sledgehammer. Oh. 
Ow. Ow? Okay. I can't pick up these bullets for some reason. Uh. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, shotgun full. Oh, okay. Well, keep that in mind that there's some shotgun bullets there. Okay, so there must be an infinite amount of these things? Shotgun full. to just fight them indefinitely. Combat's a little wonky to get this to work that way, but... Why shotgun? just to make me fight my way here. I guess they didn't want it to be too easy to make my way here. Okay. Okay, so I can't go in the middle. about right. No. No. There we go. Well, that looks right. Yeah, I think so. Seems correct. Maybe no. It's missing the little corner section. got to be wrong because it's got to be connected up there. Can't be that one. Maybe it's okay. It's got to be this way then. Okay. 
Okay, that seems right. Ah, this is supposed to have a, a, a fork in it. Okay. There it is. It's in the sitting room outside the door? And a lamp. Oh. Okay. This looks familiar. Oh, wait, this has got to be his office. back at the office. Jeremy's never been here. What does that say? Telegram, a telegram from Gabriel Sunders sent December 25th, 1928. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriel Saunders. Interesting. Also, oddly, it's not translating this one over over here it's just telling you the telegram of, that That's it is a telegram me, isn't it how long it's been since i drowned myself in drink and depression and it all felt so peaceful slipping away into oblivion a welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket it turned off suddenly as i woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut a messenger man had left a telegram from mrs saunders she had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Oh, okay, so this was a case of ours at one point. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Okay, so we need a key, I guess, or something? Ah, there we go. Writing dress, dresser key. That was odd. It wouldn't let me out of that for some reason. Newspaper clipping. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child. Theodore Saunders. figure out where I'm going first. Okay, we can go back in here. Oh, that's locked. Did I miss something in here then. It's a little odd how the E the interact button doesn't kind of pop up sometimes until you've kind of been there for a second or so. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's like a deliberate attempt to cause you to slow down. Wait, is this? No, there's nothing there. Okay. Okay. Do I have to? Oh, we're stuck again. This, this is one thing they need to figure out what's going on, why we keep getting stuck on flat ground. So I'm missing another object. Oh. Oh, we can actually go through a door. Wait, no, no, this is the, yeah, this is the door we came through. Never mind. I think it was over there for some reason. So what am I... <clears throat> am 
Am I... What? Am I blind? Is... Am I just missing an imp... a prompt somewhere? Hold on, what's our objective? He was back in the French Quarter. His oh. office, to be exact. A place Jeremy had certainly never seen. It could only mean that the dark man had reached inside Edward's mind and conjured this place for him to suffer. Let me sound familiar. Okay, find the missing drawing inside the McAfee's room. We did that. Figure out which case Carmody was working. Break into Dr. Gray's office. Champions for the second time. Mysterious sightings. Trams malfunctioning. Wines near something. Foreign news. Miracle on the Mistilla. Wanted Earl Bruno. Nancy Smith. Casey. Casey Jones. Okay. The little toy shop burglarized. Random lady. One, three, one, two, three, four. That leads to the Mississippi. There's the theater. Okay. I can't do anything but put an item up here. Western Telegram. Lasting debt. A combi. Why am I hearing from Gloria Allen that you got some job at the Looney Bin? You better not be thinking of paying her off before me. I don't want to take you for a ride, so get me my money. I'll be at the Maccabean all night if you score some dough. Oh, bad Morton. <laughs> I love how politely he says the name at the end. Brother, I need you to trust me in this. Okay. I have. On his last page. Three. What am Oh. Wait, what? There was a I stared into that that drawer multiple times. That that's another thing that needs to be fixed. Is the weird angle that you have to look at certain things to be able to interact with them. Why me standing here I can't interact with it, but me standing further away I can doesn't make any sense. That needs to be fixed. My son says her husband stole a painting and means to sell it. Headlines, the little toy shop burglarized. Wait, that's not what that's about. A photo of the kidnapper. To move, turn over. Basin Street portraits. Oh, do I just have to... There we go. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Interesting. I do like that we're having to overcome our own obvious demons in order to stop someone else's demons. Who might also actively be stopping an actual demon? Which is interesting. Uh oh. It's combat time. Where are the monsters at? I'm gonna light them on fire. There's a broken hydrant. This is an odd choice with this picking things up and then moving slowly thing. 
I feel like you would have been better off just letting me carry one distraction item at a time. I don't know what... Oh, those are freaking out. Um, I can't go that way. I don't know. That's got to be a bug, right? Those planters shouldn't be doing that, I don't think. So many weird little bugs in this. It's one thing I'd like to see them overcome. Where are the monsters at? I don't want to waste this Molotov, but I was expecting there to be a monster to show up already. That's a serious car accident, by the way. Oh, there I am. Looking particularly action-y. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information on the field. So he needed some convincing. I see. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Hatchet. Hatchet. Interesting. So we, we admit that we broke some rules on this one. Shotgun shells continue to be full. Interesting. So it looks like we just broke in? Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. Uh-huh. I don't remember this at all. And I can't say it didn't happen. Oh, well, hello there. Ow, did you just hit me with like more monsters? Oh, it broke. I thought we were gonna dive into the photo, or the, the painting. Okay. Oh, that gave me two. How nice of them. But I'm out of melee weapons now. Press L to sneak. Y yeah? I'm aware. Uh, okay. Call Cthulhu uh, Sunken City. A little bit of feel of that going on here. I appreciate that. Oh, okay. Somehow it didn't actively see me instantaneously. That's nice of them. That just woke. Oh, it just woke this guy up. Well, what good did any of that do then? Ow! Oh. Ouch! What's the point of a stealth mechanic if it doesn't actually do anything? Uh. OK. 
Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, more healing mechanic. Pistol bullets, nice. Ah, okay, so we just sealed that. Literally just sealed it to stop them from getting in. Great. That's a choice. Yes, yeah, so there must go that way. There must be more monsters in the higher difficulty or something. Because otherwise they're putting a lot of weird distractions and extra healing items in places that don't have any enemies. It's kind of weird. this one. Ooh, weapon candlestick. Let's go clue style. Also this guy's name, uh, the guy whose house we just broke into, that name sounds familiar. That might actually be from a classic noir story, if that makes sense. Also I see us crashed over there? Did we get drunk and crashed or did something attack us? Or both. Technically, we could have been drunk and then attacked, and then that's what caused us to crash. What's this guy's deal? John Lafayette's Dismir un Monstre Moron. Interesting fellow. Injured horse in the distance? What was that? Machine gun. Okay, we're definitely going to be fighting a bunch of monsters. There has to be a bunch of monsters coming. There's way too many. Too much healing items and too many uh, throwables to not be some monsters about. Am I at full health? Okay, now I'm at full health. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed them money, a lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back. Here they come. Just a survive to the end thing, or I actually have to kill them all thing. Those aren't gang members? No, no. Very clearly not gang members. Oh, they're still full of shotgun shells, you say. Hotel St. George. Okay, so that's actually the direction we're supposed to be going. There's just a lot of enemies between me and them, or me and there. Oh, the twofer! I mean, they're very burning. Neither of them seem to die. Alright, there you go. That seemed to work fine. Turns out the uh, double barrel 12 gauge put some work in for us. Maybe this is how we remember the enemy. Maybe this is how we remember them being. And as such, they are big, goopy monsters to us. Gosh darn it, I'm stuck on a tire again. Why am I stuck on a random flat ground? There's nothing here for me to be stuck on. What is that noise? I don't know if I can actually get off of this one. I, I can't seem to... like I'm about to escape it. 
Someone glued tot trap the tire? Apparently. Come on. Look how far away we are from the tire that I think we're trapped on? It'd be one thing if I was stuck on top of what clearly looked like some books or something. There's nothing here. It's flat ground. But our character's just hovering three inches off the ground for no reason? We do have a very quick dodge after a melee attack, which is good to know. Yeah, I guess we're stuck. It's just the last auto save. That's obnoxious. Oh. Wait, what? There's alligator monsters here now? Huh? What? Where'd he go? Again, idiot. How? How is that not killing? Oh, this is the wrong gun. That's why. The uh, what? How much damage do I gotta do? Sledgehammer is almost broken. Okay, so this area got all kinds of weird. Have to keep that in mind. Okay, I think this sledgehammer also might be bugged out, by the way. Because. It was saying it was about to break, but now it's not? I'm just gonna take that and then top off our health. Yeah, this sledgehammer might actually be bugged out. Because there's also been several times where I've picked something up and not dropped the sledgehammer. And then suddenly I shouldn't have a melee weapon and the sledgehammer just kind of appears in my hands. Which is odd. Oh, I thought I was stuck again already. I was about to be so angry. What's with the little bells? Curious napkin. All the world's a stage. Hotel bill. Hotel bill dated December 21st through the 25th, 1928. Christmas Day? I'm pretty sure your patronage. Telegram. Dinner. Single room. 
Mr. Ted Stryker. Okay. Machine gun ammo is full. Is it? Hold on, let me reload. There we go. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature, Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. <laughs> okay. Didn't expect the knuckles comment. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. I would hope so. You... You're the... This is your memory, bud. Okay, I can't interact with these other doors, it doesn't look like. Place is actively falling apart, which is odd. Assuming this is the actual... Uh, the other building, the Criscato or whatever, bleeding into our memory. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Business card. Okay. Hit the wrong button, I guess. Evidence. David Thornhill's business card. Yeah, Thornhill. I want to say Thornhill. I legit think Thornhill might be the name. He has amnesia? He could be. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. He could have amnesia, but... I think Thornhill, if I remember correctly, is actually the name of the noir detective from Star Trek The Next Generation's episode where uh, the captain uses the holodeck to be pretend to be a noir detective. I think Thornhill is his name. I think that's my, that might be what where I'm, I'm hearing that from, which has got to be a direct reference. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Why not what happened? Where the kidnapper went? We got. Whoa, what? Whit Boarding School, Tallahassee, Florida. A page torn from a telephone directory uh, of businesses. Okay. Is there anything else in here I need to be concerned with? Doesn't look like it. Can I go back out into the drawer? The hallway i wanted to see if they make sure there wasn't anything hidden in this like dead end over here felt like the perfect place to hide bonus things huh all right Thornhill. okay $350 for the Kingsport painting. DeWitt's contract. Contact Miss Bourbon's $300 a year. Versetto. Oh. $300 for the Kingsport painting. DeWitt, contact Miss Robbins, $300 a year. Sector Sanitarium, New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, I actually have to put these on where they fall onto the map. That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me, but I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Oh. Detective Condy didn't recognize the bridge across Pearl River. It was firmly obfuscated by trauma. Events that had left Condy scarred for life. The kidnapper had sold a painting to Thornhill, the collector, to pay for a car and enough gas to get out of Louisiana. Detective Condy was suddenly reminded of shaking him down to find out where the kidnapper was hiding. St. George's Hotel by the park. Conby vaguely remembered the case of the missing child. She was kidnapped by her estranged father. There was some connection to a gallerist named Thornhill, 
A painting sold to pay for a getaway. It's bad. Plants to remain eternally. Okay. Oh. Oh. River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Um, I'm assuming this is why you know Grace, because Grace died at the bridge. So she's another ghost. If I had to guess. That's my guess. Also, I guess an outboard, mo an outboard motor like this could exist in the 1930s. It looks odd seeing it. It doesn't feel like it should should exist until like the 50s, but I guess it could have existed in the 30s. I don't know enough about outboard motors or uh, boating in general. Okay, we're keeping the sledgehammer then. We're keeping it till it breaks. Or, I don't know, God pulls it from our cold dead hands. Something like that. Wait, so are we going to the bridge or are we going to this random little house and oh, that's not even a house. Well, I guess it's what's left of a house. What was it? Machine gun cartridges. Ah, the profane totem, which is, yeah, that was part two of the a goat without horns thing. Uh oh, I don't care for that. Get away from me! Sick monkey! Fine, everything's fine. Sick, dirty moo cows. Ugh. Offensive parrots! Sorry, I'm trying to figure out insults that aren't insults. So a sick monkey really isn't anything, I don't think. I can't go that way. Dirty moo cow. Oh, that's a lot of blood, actually. What's the hatchet down there? It's like... A little path here that also has a bunch of blood? I hope there's something else seeping into this memory because this is a lot of blood for what is otherwise. Oh no. It was her all along. Yeah. A little sweaty there. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. <laughs> we? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? <laughs> Can I really 
actually save them. I mean, what happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. He could probably shoot out the glass out of there the back. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just lacks it when you suffer. Or maybe you have to accept the fact that there's nothing you can do to have stopped this situation. You thought you were doing a good thing and then something bad happened and you have to accept that despite your best efforts, there's nothing you can do. It's about acceptance, probably. If I had to guess, it's about accepting. Accepting this, this out of control situation you can't help. But I didn't write the story, so I don't know. See, here's that hatchet again. And I can't pick up the sledgehammer. I don't, I don't know. Shotgun shells are full. Meds are full. It looks like we're at full health. This must be where the bridge is operated. Okay. How is raising the bridge going to help? Unless we attach it. It's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Vines holding it back. Oh! It's literally like a giant squid monster or something. Oh. That's more of these little idiots. Get chopped, idiot. Continuing to get chopped. Did you know Alone in the Dark? Uh, 2024 is actually a Dark Souls clone? Did you know that? It's actually a Dark Souls clone. With, between the bad aiming and the weird hitboxes and the melee combat with, the, with hatchets, it's actually a Dark Souls clone? I will hatchet. I'll just shoot you. Jeez. Our gun is just a crossbow. Or maybe spells? Oh, the backswing got him! Come here, you little flying dirt face. Got one. Seeming mildly like there's an infinite amount of them, so this might keep. Ah, yeah, there's infinite hatchets in here. out of the sinking car but left her father to drown he could have saved him there was time he just chose not to ah. instead he took grace back to new orleans and collected his paycheck okay breaking the grace off find a way to raise the bridge i guess some other aspects here? I could deal without the infinite screamers. But... Pilot the boat by the house to the sinking car. That's what it is. So we just gotta get back to that little boat I was joking about earlier? Yes. Oh. Okay, 
I don't need to break these ones, I guess. And here I was making a bunch of jokes about that stupid boat. But now we're gonna use it to save the day. Try not get by the alligator. Oh, good bro. Ow! Wow, that did a boatload of damage to us. Uh, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Gotta get to the boat by the house. Unless it means that house. I took that to mean the house that we started at. Gator? Yeah. Yeah, this boat. I guess our sledgehammer is gone. Punch it! Just one, the, 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 just 90 degrees, the boat straight up. It's so strong. The blessed sledgehammer has left us? Potentially. Not, not a guarantee, because it has done weird miracles in the past, but... expression he just made. Skeleton jump scare. Uh, oh, just a zombie jump scare. Oh! Wait, that's Emily. Oh, that's them! That's him and Emily when they were driving in originally. Oh, is this implying we've been dead this whole time? You pull me into that dirty water. Are you? Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out. So that's why that hey, water was gross. Detective, Mr. Carnby, I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place? Huh? It's... There are some very disturbed figures around here. And I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Uh-huh. It sold the child and let him drown. Own up to your own awful past. Oh, so now she's in here. I'm not going in there. Clearly had enough of me. So now I can go into the kitchen then, right? That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. So we gotta go back down to the basement. Eat all their bread. <laughs> all their bread and cheese, Ica. I'm gonna eat all their bread and cheese. I'm gonna make the world's biggest grilled cheese sandwich in 1930 and then eat it all. How's that sound? Does that sound like appropriate response? All the all their bread and cheese. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Great. I know no greater no greater problem than their all their bread and cheese. Oh, let me go try that other safe real quick again before I forget. It was what nine one three. Something like that. I don't know what we're gonna get out of here, but it seems like something we need to do. Uh, John. Oh no no, it was one of our notes, right? 
The dark man had forced oh. Combe to face his memories of Grace and her father. How he ran him off the bridge at Pearl River and carried on to steal his child as he was drowning. He then handed Grace off to her mother because that was the job. And you don't question the job. You take the money and get drunk. As Combe slowly accepted his trauma, he started to wonder why it was his and not Jeremy's. Huh. How was that in the middle of two other sections that we had already read? What? Jeremy's thoughts. Not that one. Nine one three, yeah. I don't have the combination for this. Maybe Jeremy did. What? Nine one. Oh. Lurk, lurk away. So nine one three. There we go. Nine one. Okay. Interesting. Doctor Gray's office key. Empty room clue. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction. As someone who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed, or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. Uh huh. Break into the doctor's office and find out what he knows. Okay. I'm going to run their car off. Wait. Okay, now this is number 11? Wait, what's number... Yeah. Wait, what? Dr. Gray was someone who mixed up in the business with the Dark Man. Then Carnaby decided he had to be there. Either Dr. Gray was using the idea of the Dark Man to manipulate and torture Jeremy, or the Dark Man was an actual powerful being possessing Jeremy. And in that case, Dr. Gray was simply a stooge. Maybe both could be true at once. Carmi felt his mind racing in all directions. No matter what, he had to find a way to break the pact. That was what Jeremy said was needed. It didn't even matter what was true or not. If Jeremy would leave directo before the contract was broken, then Carmi had to make it happen. He just wished the steps on the contract made a little bit more sense. Oh, are these broken now? What? This... Dark Man informed Carnaby to face his memories of Grace and her father. He ran him off the bridge of the... Wait. Had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to the ground. He had saved them. There was time. He just chose not to. Well, that was the job. Oh, okay. This is getting... I don't... Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. I don't know if... That's a bug, or it's meant to, a, like, represent, like, our madness? I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room. 
which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, there's the France piece. Okay. McCarthy's pirate treasure. This is where McCarthy has hidden my favorite young. It's very important. Oh, okay. It's that same little area on the wall, I'm guessing, then. Oh, we, like, completely bypassed this step? Stairwell key. Jeremy's treatment. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, oh, I find myself one. in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Ugh, that's Dark rough. blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm, eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't understand why this is hitting so hard for me, but I am absolutely just captured by this. I, I guess because I have no idea what's going on, but not in a way that's like badly written. Like it's so well written so far. I, I guess this is like the equivalent of reading a really good book to me or something where I can't tell what's going to happen next. And that's actually pretty rare, I feel like, for my for my brain who likes to overanalyze everything. Like the little weird juke move we have if we run back in the opposite direction. That's very fun. Okay, so, I mean, I guess this is a good place to call it? I have no objectives right now. What is happening? I guess, I guess our objective has to be just to go get back into the room, use that, the French piece on the map, and figure out what's about to happen? I can't, I can't tell if what is going on is intentional or not. I can't tell if this is deliberate or if it's just a bunch of missing. bugs cascading on top of each other. Map of the Caribbean. Okay. Pirates of the... Okay, that's the second one of those. We're still missing the, like, Gala mask. Wait, that was just for that? That was a whole side section just for that one collectible? Huh?
Wait, what? What? Wait, we just collected the Jack in the Box? What does that mean? How did we collect the Jack in the Box? It said Jack in the Box full. It, oh, that's gotta be a bug, right? It just let me interact with it twice and the second time I picked it up like it was an item? Like it's the same reason that we can keep looking at this even though it doesn't have a relevance? That's gotta be what it is. That's gotta be what it is. Right? All right, so I have the key to the stairwell. Is that like his, his key? Wait, there's also something else. Oh no, stairwell. The stairwell is this. So, oh, we can finally go into the attic or the basement into the laboratory. What? Wait, Clark's office. The clerk's office. Wait, we unlocked this. This is these have gotta be bugs. This has gotta be bugs, right? There's no way. Unless there was something else inside of that safe. Let me go make sure there isn't anything else inside of that safe. I cannot tell if this is like the most meta nonsense, like the most meta mind F. Or if this is just a bunch of cascading bugs on top of each other that are just working out. I don't, I don't understand. Am I? Yeah, it's in the clerk's office. It's saying that there's still a puzzle over here, but I opened this, didn't I? Is there something else? It's, it's gotta be just messing with me. It's gotta be a bug. Maybe because we did it after we did that, that last quest. Uh, with Grace. Maybe it's bugged out and it's not triggering it like it's supposed to to turn off. It's, it's gotta be what it is. We'll head over to the stairwell and see. I... I don't... Oh! I can't take this much more. This has to end. I got you, Carnby. I got you, bud. Stay strong. I guess this is what it looked like in its heyday? No, this is a completely different room. Oh, no, no. There's a second floor up there. So, yeah, maybe this is what it looked like in its heyday. When they were throwing the galas with the... That was the first people who came here? Oh, fancy gold mic. There's nothing in there. Here's that broken piano. Maybe I'm getting like Shutter Island vibes and I've never even seen Shutter Island. I just know there's a bunch of weird nonsense goal mind effing in that. The mind messing around and finding out is high in that module from, or that movie from what I understand. Think about this even a little bit. Scapegoat. Oh. Unbreakable Colts. Der Seto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque. A temple devoted to rebellious growth. The most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while, but rest assured your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. They all croak, Welcome back. bark, and bleat because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Ia! Ia! Instead of that blasphemous name, they gossip in hush whispers the name of their seto, 
Astarte and the Black God of the Woods. Okay, so this is like a cursed place, so multiple... Okay, well, we're like on a ley line, then. Welcome back, Ikka. We... I don't... Dude, I am so down the rabbit hole. I have no idea of what is happening anymore. <laughs> Raising her, the mother. Take pity on us. So the orderlies were using... Oh, it's playing over again. Radiology number one. Okay. Partial capture of a brain grimmed by unsettling darkness. So they're torturing him and trying to figure out use his weird attachment to the magics to radiography patient Jeremy Hartwood date June 14 1930 plates Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly partial radiographs worked best a complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together observations even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Whoa, okay. That's, that's a step. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing, and I should have Waits order a new one. Uh huh. So this is what his secret he's keeping is electrical fuse. Mm. 
He was doing some pretty horrific old world uh, psychology. Surgery room key. Uh, is that enough? I guess not. I guess I need another fuse or something. <laughs> I love that the, the the guy who's protesting is like, uh, this is some kind of messed up stuff you're doing. We're doing here to this guy, and the sister's like, I don't care about that. Electrical fuse. The spare fuse can help re regulate electrical power when inserted into a fuse box. Don't mind if I do. I don't know if you would have a full size one of those inside of a recording device? I mean, I guess you could. All right. Okay, I was correct. There we go. There we go. That was a pretty easy one. said this was his, right? Oh, it has to match up like that. Okay, so it can't be that one then. This is a very odd puzzle. So there's three places. Okay, so this bottom one has got to be his. I feel like I'm misunderstanding something here. So that one's Jeremy's. Like, I feel like I'm missing a very relevant clue about how to decipher what this is supposed to look like. Okay, so it can't be that one. Cause that's too big. So yeah, it really feels like this is meant to be the bottom. Like 
This one has... Yeah, something like that. So then this one? No. What about this one? can't be this one though, right? Because that doesn't line up on the one side. It'd have to be one of the other two. But neither of these really work. Unless you're meant to rotate all of them slightly off-center? really needed uh, wow okay that was uh what now jeremy's darkness is a key item a broken piece of a of burned clay its size suggests it it being a part of a statue wow that was a tough one Yeah, they could have used, a, I think, a little bit more refinement on that one, maybe. Do I have an objective? I still don't have an objective here. This is part of a statue. I mean, we go back into his room. Okay, these are all locked now, which implies that we're probably done down here. Let's see. Oh. We might be done with it, but it's not done with us. <gasps> oh. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Run? Get to high ground. We're clearly dealing with what it looked like during the flood during the hurricane. violence to solve all your problems. Run, Carby, run! back in the attic. Have, have we been back into the attic? Have we been to the attic before? I, I don't actually know. What is that? Some booze. Oh. Huh. Wait, six something one. Okay, that looks like the base. It's just a tentacle. Four, six. Six one four? Six four one. Oh, hold on, let me look and see if there's anything else hidden up here. 
Oh, like this. Tessellated shard. Two of three of prisoner of ice. They seem to do anything with this. Just here to, I guess, highlight the noose. I can't go over there. So six, four, one. All right, we're already on six. Wow, that was actually very close to being where we already needed to be. All right. um, oh. It's a little black screen reset on that one. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay, I think this is where we're going to wrap it up at the beginning of this new little whatever we're about to do. I can't save. <laughs> what? Why can I not save? Uh, okay. That's frustrating. I can no longer interact with the noose either. All right, I guess we're not done. No, is this? This is where Jeremy's hiding, right? Hello? Is anyone there? Jeremy? I need help. Wait. Can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud, and the fire is taking Jeremy. me. Jeremy. Where are you? The motor is dead. He is the ship. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Jeremy and the plants. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Combi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy. That was my thought. Or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Combi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. Combi entered some new, mucky dreamland of Jeremy's, a long-abandoned steamboat aground in the bayou. Which we know is a thing he's been working on to represent himself to some degree. Can I save now? Okay, I can save now. Okay, perfect. Let's save here. Great. Great, 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 great. Perfect. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. No, oh, Jeremy is the wizard. <laughs> He's the wizard. That's what it is. Main menu, all unsaved progress will be lost. We're good. We probably just got a, a quick save and the hard save that we put down, so. Wow. That was something. I can't tell what's a bug and what's intentional. So much of that feels like it's a bug, but it also fits the narrative of like our character slightly going crazy i don't know i do not know what to think of that that's that is really interesting all the lurkers of course though thank you you have the twitch will go around we always appreciate you anybody who checks the vods here on twitch or checks the vods on the youtube repository thank you it's always greatly appreciated seeing those numbers helps keep you motivated uh if you need a well thought out solution you need a thinking solution raven hilbert kink thinking solutions uh that'll be it everyone i hope you have a good rest of whatever you're up to and uh yeah yeah. Bye.